Identity theft costs consumers billions every year, and you may be setting yourself up and you don't even know it. How? When you hit delete on your computer, do you think the data is gone for good? It's not. This is a computer-driven world, and that PC is all about me. We put our entire life on electronic devices. Convenient, yes. Smart, no. Good afternoon, INA. How can I help you? INA specializes in high-tech crimes, and as an experiment, INA purchased a PC online. This is actually the computer that we picked up uh, off of Craigslist for $30. And it has, you know, the monitor, keyboard, mouse, has everything you would need. Including two hard drives. The PC didn't work, but two the hard, hard drives, drives did. INA removed them and within minutes hit pay dirt. And on that hard drive contained the personal information of a husband and wife and also of one of their children. Resumes, tax returns, even a letter to a credit union. Uh, and on here, the individual listed his date of birth, his social security number, who his employer was. Enough stuff to steal someone's identity. I can apply for credit in their name. I can obtain credit cards. I can open up bank accounts. And most of it was found in deleted files. People will have the misconception that when they uh, press delete on their computer, that they're actually deleting that file forever. They're not. It's just being stored elsewhere on the computer. There is software to erase the stuff, but... <laughs> Experts suggest physically destroying the hard drive. Tri-State Shredding in Harrisburg has a machine that munches hard drives. But everything on that hard drive was in fact destroyed. Actually destroyed. And there's no way to piece it together? No. A pile of shredded metal, your personal data, safe and secure. Now, we tried to contact the family whose personal information was on the computer. They moved from Camp Hill to the Allentown area, and their phone number is not listed. The person who sold the computer told INA he was selling it for a neighbor.